Hey, what is going on everyone? Franco Tech here bringing you another video and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Fitbit Versa. This is the newest entry to the Fitbit lineup. So yes, this is a fitness tracker. However, this is also a smartwatch. So yes, you do get the best of both worlds with this watch. And throughout my time of using the Versa, there were a lot of things I liked about the watch, but unfortunately there were also a couple of issues that I had with the watch. But with that being said, let's get straight into the review. So starting off with the design, the Fitbit Versa is actually a pretty nice looking watch that has a very casual design which is very similar to the look of the Apple Watch. The good thing about this casual design is that it goes well with pretty much any casual everyday outfit. So whether you're heading to the gym, just hanging out at home, or even if you're going to head out for the day, uh, the watch should go well with most of your outfits. The build of the watch itself is also pretty decent. It's nothing amazing. It doesn't have a super great build quality, but it does get the job done. And what we have here is an aluminum body, which houses the 1.3 inch display, as well as rubber wristbands. And there are both large and small options already included with the box. The small band fits wrists that are 5.5 to 7.1 inches in circumference, and the large band will fit wrists that are around 7.1 inches to 8.7 inches in circumference. So either of these bands should work for a majority of the people looking to get the Versa. However, if you don't like the look of the rubber wristbands, or if you need a different size band, these bands are interchangeable, so you are able to purchase different bands from the Fitbit website, or you can purchase them from a third-party seller and really change up the look and feel of the watch. And going back to the display, I gotta say this this is the number one thing I didn't like about the Versa. As I said earlier, this is a 1.3 inch display with a pixel density of 300 by 300 pixels, and the display itself is not that bad at all. It does get pretty bright in broad daylight, and it does have some pretty decent viewing angles, but I do wish it had much smaller bezels. The Versa has some pretty thick bezels that really take away from the appeal of the watch, so I do wish it had more of a bezel-less experience because I think it would look a lot nicer if it had thinner bezels, but that's not the main issue I had with the display. In fact, it's more of the glass that's used on the Versa that I had an issue with. I've worn the Versa every day pretty much 24-7 for about a week or so, and not once did I ever hit it against anything or rub it against anything or drop it or anything like that. In fact, I've been very careful with the watch, yet it has a lot of fine scratches on the screen, and these scratches definitely show up when you're outdoors or in a well-lit room, and this is what I disliked most about this watch. Like I said, I've been wearing this watch for about a week, and I've been very careful with it yet it has all of these scratches so I can only imagine how the display would look two months from now or even a year down the road and you know this is a $200 watch and for $200 I really don't like that it scratches this easily now the good thing is that you are able to put a screen protector on here which I would highly recommend in fact I would say you need a screen protector if you want to keep this watch looking nice that would definitely solve the issue but it's just unfortunate that even with great care the screen is still scratched up so yeah, get a screen protector if you're gonna buy this watch. But moving on from that, the Versa is actually a very comfortable watch to wear. I wore this watch 24 seven and I never felt any discomfort from wearing the watch. In fact, a lot of the time I even forgot that I was wearing it. And that's actually a shocker to me. I'm someone that never wears any accessories. I don't wear rings, watches, necklaces, anything like that because they're always very uncomfortable to me. And I was shocked that the Versa did not bother me at all. So yes, this is a very comfortable watch to wear and I really enjoy enjoyed that about it. And moving on to the features of the watch, as the name Fitbit implies, the Versa is a fitness tracker that offers a lot of really helpful fitness based features. I mean, this watch has a step counter, 24 seven heart rate monitor, activity and sleep tracker, and much more. And apart from all of the fitness stuff that the Versa offers, as I said earlier, this is also a smartwatch. So there are a few apps that you can download like Pandora, Starbucks Pay, and a couple more options. And you'll also see all of your push notifications from your phone. So any emails, messages, or texts that you receive, or even if you have any missed calls or incoming calls, all of that will show up on your notification tab that you can easily access by swiping from the top of the screen down or by pressing and holding the top right button on the side of the frame. And going back to the features, like I said, the Fitbit Versa offers a lot of really helpful features. Starting with the 24-7 heart rate monitor, which is actually pretty accurate, it gives you your resting heart rates and also your average heart rates while exercising, resting, and sleeping, and just doing your daily activities. Then we have the step counter, which counts all of your steps throughout the day, and also has you set up certain hourly goals and daily goals that can all be done through the Fitbit app. What I liked about the step counter is that every once in a while, you'll receive a notification 
notifications saying that you need to walk a certain amount of steps in order to hit your hourly goal and i like this feature because it actually made me want to get up and walk around a little bit more which is always a good thing and next is the sleep tracker which automatically or manually helps you track your sleep and also gives you advice on how to improve your sleep schedule and educates you on why sleep is so important it also gives you statistics on the amount of time you spend in each sleeping phase for example it will tell you how long you were in REM sleep and also how long you were in deep sleep etc and I found this feature very helpful especially for those that want to watch their sleeping habits and I also noticed that it was actually pretty accurate as well and it was able to automatically detect when I fell asleep and when I woke up and you can check all of these statistics on the Fitbit app. One of my favorite features with the Versa is the workout mode. Aside from the heart rate tracker, this Fitbit also includes different activity modes for workouts. There are actually quite a few different options available here. Some of them you have to manually set up and others will automatically detect which exercise you're doing. For example, most of the time I just use the weight training tracker which will read my heart rate throughout my entire weight training exercise. There I can see how many calories I burn during my workout, how long I've been working out and how fast my heart rate is beating. Once I finished my workout, the Versa displayed an overall summary of my entire workout routine, uh, which I thought was pretty cool. And for you swimmers out there, you can definitely swim safely while wearing the Versa because yes, it is water resistant for up to 50 meters, so feel free to hop into the pool and track your laps. You'll have nothing to worry about. And finally, for the ladies, there is a female tracker as well that offers female health options. And yeah, this isn't something I ever used, but it is there if you need it. And with all of these features and all of this usage, the battery on the Fitbit was actually pretty good. I was able to get around four full days of usage on one single charge. And I have heard that if you disable the notifications, you should be able to get around five full days of battery life. I never tested this out because I like receiving the notifications, but if you want to extend battery life, you can always try this out. The battery did take about two hours to get a full zero to 100 charge on the battery cradle that it comes with, which is completely fine by me. I would have liked if it charged a little bit faster, but then again, you are getting around four days of usage on one single charge, which is completely completely fine. Overall, I really enjoyed my time with the Fitbit Versa. It's a really nice accessory to have that comes with a lot of cool features that can definitely be helpful in one way or another. This is a watch that's gonna have a little bit of something for everyone. So whether you wanna track how many calories you burn throughout your workout, how many steps you walk throughout the day, your sleep patterns at night, or even if you just want a nice looking smartwatch that does all of that, the Fitbit Versa is definitely something I can recommend. I still really don't like the fact that my screen scratched up so easily, but if you're really considering getting the Versa, I would definitely recommend it. Just make sure you go get a screen protector as well. You'll thank me later. So that's going to wrap up this review, guys. As always, like this video if you liked it. Comment any questions you have down below, and I'll be sure to answer as many as I can. And also, please subscribe if you haven't already. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video.